Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. You'll notice I'm in some interview clothes and I want to talk about my interview today. So I am interviewing today for my very first teaching position. Uh, I had an interview around this time last year but it was for a Montessori school so I feel like this is my first official interview with a public school. I had a long-term sub interview a little while back, so I have an idea what this will be like, but this is my first official one, like with a school and for a full year. It's going to be in first grade, so I'm kind of nervous, but I'm also kind of excited just for like, mostly for the experience. And this is a school that I student taught at, and I did a first grade long-term sub in. The classroom next door to the one that I'm interviewing for and during for that long-term sub they actually asked me to do the long-term sub I didn't apply for it the principal came up and asked me so when this came up when my um, cooperating teacher for student teaching was like hey by the way look out for this job I really spent a lot of time organizing and making sure that my application resume and cover letter were all good and ready to go and like updated so I'm excited I'm nervous because I think it would be a really amazing opportunity but I want to be I don't want to get my hopes up and like have them be crushed <laughs> I'm nervous I got to do a little bit more updating and I will let you guys know when I get to the school and then after the interview is over. Wish me luck. Hi guys, I just finished the interview and I took my coat off when I got out, or my blazer off when I got outside because it's really hot. I think it's like 95 out here. So too hot to have that on. Um, honestly, I think it went okay. I think I said some good things, but for some, reason I don't know what's wrong with me I was talking about my fourth grade position instead of my like my fourth grade long-term sub position the most instead of talking about my first grade long-term sub position so I'm really upset at myself and they also said that because I'm a first year teacher and I don't have any contracts that they'll have to have a separate call with me that's like 30 to 45 minutes which it's really hard to schedule that I guess and they have like 28 questions to get to know me better and they have to do with an additional administrator so I think my chances are very slim um, I think they were excited to have me there and I think they wanted to give me a chance but I I I have a not great feeling about it. I feel like you can come away from interviews kind of knowing how it went. And honestly, I just don't think I said the right things and I don't have enough experience. So unfortunately, um, I think this interview might have been a dud. They said they'll let me know next week. So I guess still fingers crossed, but I, I'm not going to keep my hopes up because I just feel like in my gut, I know that I didn't get it, so that's a bummer, but I'll share with you guys some of the interview questions they asked me um, in a little while, but yeah, I feel like you can tell how things went, and so got to get more experience, that's all, so I'll tell you guys what the interview questions were in just a bit. All right, I'm home now from the interview. I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to snuggle with my dog here. Um... I I think I told you guys a little bit in the car, but I think it went okay. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't know why I talked so much about my fourth grade experience in a first grade position. I talked a lot to my dad about this, and, you know, he, he was kind of helping me, like, defend my choices, but I think overall, I just, I left and I had the vibe that I just didn't, get the job. I don't know. I feel like you can walk out of an interview and have a pretty decent um, feel for if you got it or not. And I feel like I didn't. But I wanted to share with you guys some of the interview questions. So I wrote those down so I could share them with you. So I have them on my phone. So I'm just going to 
read some of those questions for you guys and just kind of share <laughs> all right you can get down that one um just kind of share some of my thoughts and responses so the first one was kind of a general like um tell me a little bit about yourself but basically it said our interview panel doesn't have any of your resume information or anything like that so share with us your prior experiences so I went back a little ways to just share some of my experience from college and student teaching because I did student teach at that school and then I went into my subbing experience my long-term sub experience and so on and so forth so that was basically like I said like a tell me a little bit about yourself the next question is how do you determine or qualify success and share a story, a successful situation for you? The third question was describe a personal quality or other characteristic which you possess that enables you to build strong interpersonal relationships with colleagues and or students. Why do you believe this attribute makes a difference? And then tell me about a time you pitched in to help someone with a task or finish a project even though it wasn't your job uh, what made you decide to step in the next question was tell me about the most difficult work situation you've encountered and how you brought it to resolution reflecting back would you do anything differently how do you incorporate the views slash perspectives of others from diverse backgrounds into your work. The next question was, what do you think makes a great teacher? It says, please explain how you differentiate and personalize your classroom instruction. And then the last question, question nine, was please describe how you organize and plan systematic instruction that is standards based. So those were all of the nine questions. I did get to see them before and write down notes. Um, and I think that was really helpful for me. So the only bad thing is obviously I couldn't, like I only had 10 minutes to really think through some kind of deep questions. And I, I think um, I, if I had more time or if I would have spent more time preparing prior to this experience, I would have been thinking more about my first grade long-term experience instead of my fourth grade but you know <laughs> it is what it is so anywho i'm gonna let you guys go but i wanted to share those interview questions with you guys in case you're not sure or you're wondering what kind of questions they even ask um, those were nine questions that they asked me during my interview so i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you got something helpful out of this experience or out of this video <laughs> And um, I wish you guys all luck, whether you are finishing out your year, finish it already, or if you're going to be looking for jobs all summer long like me. So good luck, you guys, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.